Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. Few days before, we got amazing nothing OS update to dot five six, which we in depthly reviewed. You can watch it from the link given under the video description. It just about three weeks we got that update, but today we got the new eighty five MB of small OTA nothing OS two dot six, which has this small change log. Though the change log is smaller, but it has added some useful features to the Nothing Phone One. So we started to download and install this update. Today in this video, we'll thoroughly check out all the changes in details in comparison with the old update and the new features added by the developers. So watch this video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. If you still didn't got this update, I have given the OT update file in the video description. You can flash that over nothing was 2.5.6 as shown in the video tutorial link given in the video description. Now let's compare the device details of this new update. This update will changes the nothing was version to 2.6. Old build was of 2.5.6 version. Current build date is of space war U2 dated 5th July 2024. Last build was from the date twelfth June twenty twenty four. Android version is same like old update. It's Android fourteen, but the major changes is done in the security patch. Here we got the latest July security patches with this update, while the last build has the security patches of June twenty twenty four. Current version is same. It's five point four point two forty two, like old build. Now let's check out some additional features added by the developers in this update. New update comes with these four new wallpapers. You can find them under the launcher wallpaper and style section. While applying the wallpaper, we get the glass effect for the wallpaper, which gives amazing look to these new wallpapers. You can take a preview of these wallpapers here. Next is the most important add-on in this update. We get the new gaming mode setting under the settings of the device. This mode has some features like game list management, where you can add all the games under the game mode. But surprisingly, you can add any user application under this setting. Game sidebar toggle gives the game mode overlay on the selected game applications while playing the games. Notification display setting has some tweak to avoid the interference while playing the games. Like minimal option gives the display of the notification of the application. While if you select off mode, it will disable the notifications for the all apps during the gameplay. Default will gives the normal notification heads up while playing the games. Mister prevention toggle helps to avoid the detection of accidental touches, which has no actions while playing the games. Under the add-ons feature, we get the game dashboard setting. Here, we get the toggle to enable or disable the game dashboard overlay for the game mode while using the game applications. D&D toggle for the games is available here. If we enable this, D&D will be activated while playing only gaming applications. We selected otherwise, it will remain off. Now, let's check out the game mode overlay while playing the Subway Surfers game, which are already added in the game mode setting. So we get such type of game dashboard overlay. We can drag and place it any convenient location on the screen. If we tap on it, we get the new gaming dashboard, where we can enable the overlay buttons to take the screenshot to start the screen recording of the gameplay to enable the FPS overlay of game and the D&D mode button. Except this, we get the games optimization, achievements, and the leaderboard card control. If that game supports the optimization and Google gameplay support. Subway suppose didn't suppose for the games optimization, so we'll not get this option here. But the games like BGM or PUBG will get the game optimization option. We can directly stream the gameplay by using the YouTube Live option. If you are a gamer, using the YouTube Live streaming. 
you can access all these settings while playing the games. Another feature which is available for the gaming is you can dismiss any notification by just single tap on the screen while playing the game. So overall this new update has finally added some game centric features and they will be definitely useful for the gamers. Except these two new features other things are related to the bug fixes and the stability improvement. Like first one is developer improved the network stability by optimization of quick recovery mechanism for the blocker data network. They fixed some network related issues for the sum carrier for the global and EU regions. Except this network improvement, they also fixed overlapping of lost screen under some scenarios. Next most important issue they fixed about the cloned application feature. All the applications are now seamlessly used as a cloned application without any issues. Except this nothing is there in the new update. If you ask me about the performance score using the Geekbench or the Antutude, then my answer is it's of no need. This update is buttery smooth with the great haptic feedbacks for every touch. So this is in depth preview of this update. The last question you may ask if you are a gamer, does this new update suppose the 120 FPS for the BGM or PUBG? The answer is no, we didn't get the 4 FPS setting though this update is gaming oriented update. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for nothing phone one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.